IG <laughs> morning, you know. Just say me to turn on the phone here in the morning, so I can't responsible for anything we come out after. Yeah, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes, I. Yeah. Through the powers of His Imperial Majesty, Immanuel, the earthly God and King. Yeah. How everyone doing this morning? How oh, the eye them energy? How oh, the eye them feel? How oh, the eye them a cope? How oh, the eye them eyes? You see everything? Yeah, that we are saying. Uh, greatest, greatest, greatest of the mornings, them. Is the ones that we can rise up with, you know? Mm-hmm. Good morning, everyone. Me see the places, me see the names. Yeah? Yeah, man, we are let it out, man. We now worry nothing, you know. All when the gun shot them and the gun them lying up in front, we saw. We have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. This have to do. You see me? Now you know what's the eye them good, man. Yeah. Police man. <laughs> yes. Yes, morality police is on live. Yeah. God, I don't know they don't give me the title for man, you know. Yeah man. I am the morality police. What you doing? What you doing? Are you doing it correctly? Are you doing it right? Yes, 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 yes. Now this live. Thank you. Yeah, man. See you all there. This live this morning. Seeing. Is really and truly. To give the eye them a little heads up. Pan, what really I go on and know what the thing reach. And what we need for a look pan. And what we need for a go next. Yeah, I see it. Yes, I. Yes, I. So be here with that, you know, car, you know, we know idle. We know do idleness. And them do everything for we not turn on them phone here. Them shadow band meeting them, yeah. Since the last blast summer blast through the internet. Then put up on one list there. See him? <laughs> well you know, from Jack I buy a knife on the ultimate list. For them list are joke list. That we're not frightened for no list. I just have our list, I just govern our list, so we depend here. Yeah. Tell me something, you can't smoke on IG. I don't know what you do. What do you Yes, I. So we did say a lot of things that are going to happen in 2023. And trust me, what we did in 2023 and now? August. See? And yeah, them not me not fist. We see. I'll be a sitting now going already.
we talk oh one other thing now i forgot to know too is <laughs> i forgot to speak in a in a in a dialect that everyone can overs because they complain especially from africa sometimes that they can't necessarily overs what i'm saying when i'm speaking jamaican when i say move the blood <laughs> you see me so for the purpose of my international yeah man stone boy and queen africa call up coming up man will soon stone boy big up yourself anyway you turn up my link seeing i will coming to tour africa soon too yeah Yeah man, we soon we soon add a few ones to the live. Just allow me to um to settle in and Yeah then say speak proper <laughs> Savage <laughs> Then one we say hey my brother in law big boy I'll be taking care of my sister over there you know big up yourself Michelle You know I love you girl yeah, man, I'm coming to Gambia pretty soon, you know. Shana Chin, we see you on one channel one night, you try defend yourself. I mean, how you feel a link? You're there one side, both you are working on the ministry there. You need to come join the live here with me right now. <laughs> you need to come look at, you know, we're born from the same day and we have the same fire. We actually nearly look all the same too. Shana Chin, big up yourself, girl. I love what you're doing out there in those streets in foreign, yeah? Malawi, I named my son Malawi because I went to South Africa and this when I was pregnant and I never told anyone. And one of the ladies that came to meet me at the hotel, she was a very old lady from, she said she was from, I think it was Malawi. Yeah. <laughs> and she told me to name my child, whether it was a girl or a boy, I should name the child Malawi and so I just made the decision right there and name my last son Malawi. Well not my last son come here. I plan to have one last little baby. <laughs> Before my bulb them blow right out and none the left. <laughs> so big up Malawi. I coming down there for the land that was promised to Malawi very soon. Yeah. So yeah. Enough for the chit chatting. I did some videos earlier this year, a couple months ago, you could have said. And the entire system come down for me. Because I don't to see how the people come down for me. Because the people love the ground that I walk on. But the system came down on me very harshly. And I think it was because of the fact that I was speaking too much of a plain truth. Yeah, man, big up Ghana, man. With place. Nanny place. <laughs> Seeing... So yeah, for me personally, and the fact that I don't have an organization that I'm a member of, my only organization is the one that I've formed with the people. The people first of my country, my beautiful island Jamaica, and the people of the world by extension that suffer from the atrocities of our world leaders and the way they are so selfish in the way they govern us and the way they expect us to, you know, in return, assure respect to them. So, yeah, man, big up Malawi again, seeing. So, because we were chosen by the Mosai to do what we do. I'm coming back to Kenya very soon, don't worry. Seeing. We are now the new enemies of the world in terms of the state and the system who does not want certain truths that I and I represent for to come to the eye them ears. Seeing? So, them try to make it look like we are troublemakers. And a while ago, I was at my son's school and I saw a, 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 a member of our society who is vying to become uh, one of the new politicians on the PNP side. I'm not going to call his name right now because I don't have to, but he was saying to me, why may I make so much trouble on social media? And I was like, you see, they see what a Queen Africa does as giving trouble on social media. But the nastiness and the dirtiness that's taking place, especially all over TikTok, eh? Lord God, that is okay and that is welcome because that's 
what they want our young people and the people of Jamaica to be exposed to upon the levels where we see it happen. And so I just had to say to him that I don't necessarily give trouble on social media. I pay attention to the issues that are neglected on social media. And so here we are now where I just feel in the mood this morning. If you turn on my live and make some ones, first of all, the enemies them see say, yeah? We're not sick, not, not do we. We know the one side are crying and say, oh, them turn them back pan. We are watching you know. that with the one side. Do. We are watching you know. we are see everything we want to We never watch you know with them at two higher no more. It's a higher dimension with them and I watch you know now. So the trouble we want to know is normal because we are not necessarily, and we are talking to the system. We are not talking to the ones who are in the same shoes that we are in terms of the struggle. We are talking to the system. We are talking to whoever the ruler or the boss of the system is. Or who we are talking. We are saying, you have one couple of weep and a rock here when you're in Jamaica. Where we now plan for bow to no things anytime soon. So my role, seeing the spiritual eye is watching. Yes. Yes, Empress. The spiritual eye we are watching with now. Seeing fifth dimensional eye, we are watching high frequency, high vibration eye. We are watching the with now. Seeing and the earth, we know they are earth no more now. We are sin. You see what I say? Yeah. So we float, we are float now. You see what I say? Yeah. No joke, no night. No doubt, no night. No friend, no night. No favor, no night. I do strictly the Almighty Creator in night. Yeah. So before me go any further, I just want to say to my fans in America, especially in the Philadelphia area, Taj Mahal Entertainment Center to be exact. Me I got there with alongside Richie Spice next weekend. Seeing me I got there on a show, a little show in a Philadelphia there. So all of my fans in Philadelphia where we're gonna see the Queen for this long time. Can roll through and come, you know? Sing two songs for the item, and then me go there. Send cry, US Virgin Island, a long time. We don't do a proper performance in a send cry, so send cry, line up yourself, labor your weekend. Murder in a send cry. You see what I say? Musically speaking. So I want to come forward from my rock here, so now. Seeing Daddy Roots Baltimore, big up yourself. Seeing. The message is that the new world order cannot be established if it is not established out of Jamaica. Again, I'm going to say it like Dr. Umar Johnson. The new world order cannot be established if it's not established out of Jamaica. The new world order cannot be established in its fullness if it is not established out of Jamaica. Henceforth, the reason why there's a glitch in the matrix as we speak right now. Everything is looking as if it's going ahead, but it's just as a halt. All right. What is the queen talking about? The queen is talking about the exact scenarios that you see are playing out in front of your eyes from the Maui fires to the new lockdowns that are coming. Yes, guys. New lockdowns coming september morning some of them are start mandates that began in 27 not, not 27 2020 coming back this time it is not for those who went ahead with the first wave it's for those who resisted you see, those of us who saw the problem and started resisting it, they are coming for us in the strongest and the sternest of ways right now. How are they going to come for us? Before I go which part, I'm going to say where they all come for I want to touch upon what we need to be doing right now. 
So let me back up or forward up a little bit and, 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 and refresh the item memory about something. The item remember when I called out a couple names. I called Kabu Mahat Keru name. I called Muta Baruka name. I call Buju name. I call Richard Corey name. Paramount Chief Richard Corey name. I call the Gammon Mama G. I ask all of them to call a meeting to facilitate the unity that we will need to not only save Jamaica but Africa and the world by extension. I've been doing this call for the most part since 2021 but before 2021 there was 2019 2019 rebel salute when Andrew Wolness Mia Motley Mark Golden was in attendance at that rebel salute The spirit of the Most High moved through me and, and as an account of that, a message was given to the Prime Minister, Andrew Olness, to Mia Motley, to Mark Golden, but it was mostly about or it was not either Mark Golden or, or Peter Flip. Whichever one did I try to be the PNP person at the time. See? One of the most profound things that I asked the Prime Minister in 2019. See? Was to not leave original Jamaican people behind. I use the word again, original Jamaican people. Me beg him, me say, this the queen, even if you have to diss, she never did yet. So me say, even if you have to diss the queen, Andrew, what we see coming, please save Jamaican people from it, because Jamaican people, when all is said and done, did not deserve it. When him, him wait me out, wait till me done talk with me I talk, walk up and do the deceiving hug. I was literally thinking and believing that this man was really listening to what I was saying and don't really think that is a some forward me I look or something. When I finished in that talk at Rebel Salute 2019, the last thing I said when I was coming off stage was, Uno may not even see me again. No one not even didn't know what that mean. See? Why am I saying that? We are now in 2023. And we saw the changes that came 2020. How drastic they were. How frightening they were. How different they were. How out of the world they were. And that was the warning that the Prime Minister, opposition, and the leader from Barbados got. Put things in order. Do what you're going to do for the benefit of your country and your people. And push against the system that's going to come and ask you to turn your people into slaves further. I can safely say, in my opinion, that Mia Motley was the only one who took anything from what I said because she's the only one that went back to Barbados, turned Barbados into a republic, made Rihanna into a, into a national hero and kind of, in some levels, saved Barbados from a lot of what Jamaica about to go through right now. 
vaccine. Instead of our Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Olness, looking into the things that were requested and, and, and um, even considering some of them, we all saw what he did. He did the complete opposite of that. The complete opposite was done. And we are where we are now. In 2023, about to be handed even worse medicine than the bitter medicine where him promised we. See? Make sure so now I fall in a car, I don't plan when I talk. Talk from my heart. And this is also to say to everyone we are listening, we we'll record them things here and save them for future reference. Because personally, me personally, I did not sign up to be a dead hero. Me never come here if you come dead. If you talk the truth, I come live. If you talk the truth. And so therefore, I would love for the eye them, if you never pay no attention to Marcus Garvey, them are none of our heroes, them, none of our ancestors, them, wherever did come before, and make an attempt to save you from the disasters of this now, if you never ever yet tune in to where they did a try, so I soon add a shana, seeing, if you never yet did a listen, now would that be a good time if I even want a joke. If you take in a few a little bit out of the nonsense them when me about to say before me end alive here. See? So, me personally now plan to come on and come be no beating stick for the rest of my life and have people disrespect me and deal with me like me don't know what I do. And me don't know what I say and I clout me and look at me frustrated. Because you don't know, look at me. See me eye them near up there. Me don't have no bag under my eye. I don't have no pain in my heart. Because what we do is we deal with the things that we have to deal with in a real time. So that we can have the strength and the energy for ourselves first. So that when we are sure, we don't know when we are sure out of stress and out of pain and anguish. That said, seeing. Instead of Andrew Olness do what I ask him to do. He went and did what he did. did and and where him about now to take it to the second phase. To literally turn this beautiful, wonderful nation of free people. Send directly from God. Connected directly to God. He's about now to sever the ties that we have with God. And hand we over. To the new powers that will be seen and this all of this will only happen if you the people allow it it's not about us anymore now where i turn up in the way and a dead fool and i take a chop and i take a thump and i take a lick and i take a kick i who no know i figure be the boss we are gonna say no more we no want to hear nothing more we want to see we no do something now this is the opportunity when 2023 pass and 2024 come and February come and the election date announce and holler who in the farm of the sheep them and the loyalists them and the political entrepreneurs where they might call themselves now and these things. When all of them shall get ready to come back, to come for full no soul, one last attempt to take full no soul, we not going to feel any form of guilt. When we shall move off into the side, I'll go find we look a corner them figure go on, exist in a because it is for real. When Queen are talk about, alright, so let me get a little more play now we don't know. There are a lot of things that we cannot say on these medias because they'll block down your thing and ban you and people report you and all of these kind of things. So we are going to try to speak in a layman term, understandable to those who are hearing and willing. And those who want to can ask the necessary questions and we'll see how we can answer some of them. See? We see a BRICS summit happening in South Africa. 
that is people standing up and saying we're not taking any bullying we don't care who the powers that bees are we want to have our say around the table and if you're not going to give us our say we are going to go inside and we are going to create our say that's what the BRICS is doing for those who don't understand is the new financial arrangement where putin and he and, and china and all these other countries are making against america to show america that their dollar is not going to hold them down they are going to find ways to survive without their dollar now this is what we're saying the new royal order is being formed all over the world the main objective is to get all of us all of us after them don't do what them for do with the rest of them where them said them ago depopulate somehow we and get rid of somehow we when them done all of that then those of us who are left they are trying to figure out who will rule us so now this is where jamaica comes in because even though andrew Olness promised that he would deliver all the souls all three point million souls here and abroad of jamaicans he still cannot deliver these souls to those people and so therefore this is why what is coming now the second aura is going to not only be the final aura but it's going to be the aura of all auras because of the fact that they will now try to tame in an island that is known for many many hundreds of years to not have the ability to be tamed for no reason jamaica are the place we can't tame them there you can't tame them so we are now looking on to see how them are going to tame jamaicans so how them are going to tame jamaicans now them are going to tame jamaicans because them have broke god and a army set up around him that is going to force jamaicans into submission we're seeing where they're starting already because they, 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 them stick way up with the, with, the, with the pandemic when it came along. Told us that if we didn't take the, certain, the, the protection, follow the, follow the argument that we, can't, we still can't use and talk as we want. If we didn't use the, 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 the protection, we couldn't left we home, we couldn't have no job, we couldn't go nowhere. We could not, them stick way up and I want to say to the people who took the protection and, and, and is now suffering on account of it and not getting any redress because when somebody with a warn enough he said and say look what I do if somebody I tell you say them I give you something and they're not responsible for you with whatever the outcome of it is why would you want to go stand up in a line and take something with somebody again and I tell you say them not going to be responsible for you when you take it so we just want to say because me know say most of the ones them in a Jamaica where did end up take the protection did take it because they never want to lose them income they never want to leave them family they never want to mash up them circumstances those were the reasons for them to take it and now i have seen a lot of my brothers and sisters who are crippled of all type of weird ailments and all kind of things happen to them that they cannot explain no one to explain them then trying to hide it then bring them in a corners and all of that happening this is going to be a part of your life for the rest of your life is a decision that you made i am not going to sit here and bash you and make you look and feel different about yourself but i'm going to encourage you to go back to the natural herbs of the ground of the field of the of the of the of the earth find the kind of products them oregano ginger the turmeric all of these things and start to pump them into your bodies to cleanse back your bodies from those foreign things that are in there that is tampering with your natural flu or for your immune your immune system is like the chip or you're putting on your phone and that your functionality so when that tamper with is like your whole system are gonna go off key so even for us who try to eat healthy and try to do the right things we have to make sure so we immune system up and we try to do the right things them that 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 we can have the type of health or if we have nothing show off by nobody or if we behave like we have it all or know it all but feeling healthy is a thing seeing so we're seeing now on the international spaces where they're saying get ready a new lockdown is coming covid protocols coming back testing at borders all of the things them are you if you are going to sit there and believe that this is going to be nicer than 2020 well you have no clue of what it means to be a free person and to defend that freedom when the we all, the almighty made us and the farm that we are supposed to stay in as human you know if you well learned you know if you well educated you know if you know all the things of the world to look and to see that something is drastically wrong 
since 2020 with how the world is spinning and how the things are changing drastically. Now, we are at the next phase of this thing and Jamaica again is at the front line of it. I am still calling on Buju. I am still calling on Kabu. I am still calling on Bert. I am still calling on Muta Baruka. I'm still calling on the Gammon. I'm still calling on the Rasta community. I'm still calling on the church to come together, call a national meeting of unity among the different indigenous bodies that we have here on the island and make that frontal unity in front of the world. I want to report to you guys that none of them have reached out to me and Spraga Benz, I want to tell you yes, so right now publicly so I have burn you because I'm not sure where your agenda is my sister, yeah, from the time I call on a name and ask that we need to sit down and have a talk none of them have reached out to me you Spraga, you reach out to me you tell me that so you are Jamaica you, you, you tell me, say, you're there, country, I deal with a vibe. When you finish, you go call me. Me no hear back from you. You're busy over Andre Page again, charity. I'm busy over, uh, and me I watch all of who Andre Stevens are big up. Because me, they tell you, no, say, keep an eye on Andre Stevens. And me still a tell you, no, say, keep an even firmer eye on Andre Stevens. Because him is the portal where them have. We are going to lead to who know the masses. Because they don't have no portal. See? All of them. Kabu had Keru. She reached out to me and tell me, say, the unity that I'm asking for is the ultimate unity and is the ultimate result that we're looking for. And it can be done. She, no, she tell me that there's this woman named something in the bag bar, that she's waiting on to get back to her, to get back to me, so that we can all meet and have this meeting. None of them now get back to me. But you notice, Kabu Mahat Keru put Andre Stevens on FIAR program. Get who, forget who know the Jamaican people, them feel like him. See? And them, so the unity... The unity that we're asking them for. Them don't want to do it on behalf of you, the people. Them want to do it on behalf of themselves. So that they can come together to rule you, the people, with their agendas. Until Kabuma had Keru, Muta Baruka. Uh, maybe stop at them too, if you right now. Can come out and declare to I and I, the people of Jamaica, what is their perception and idea and and an and opinion of the LBGTQ agenda here in Jamaica, them can't be no Pan-Africanist leader for me personally because them are come and are show me with them actions so them compromise and is working for have invisible system that is waiting in the wings to be the new leaders of Jamaican people and until them can prove to me otherwise they are a part of the army that is formed, that is coming in, that they are using to support PNP government, not because they like PNP government, but because they need a way in. They need a way in to stand in front of you to do worse than what Andrew Olness, because Andrew Olness is building the structure. Andrew Olness is building the structure, is building the building for the 2030 vision. PNP or, or, or whoever it is that will come out triumphant to lead the new republic will be the occupants of said building. Jamaican people will be the employees uh, in this building, when this building. So all who they hear as free Jamaican people who only know if we live and take care of their family and hustle and survive amongst yourself will now become under one umbrella and feel like a enslaved African. So let me tell you now, Kabu Mahat Keru and Muta Baruka them and Bert Samuels them are responsible for the enslaved Africans on the island. 
those are the people who they are advocating for. The free people on the island, the free Jamaicans who were never a part of slavery, are in the masses of the poor, meaning in the slums of the inner cities where you see Andrew and the police, them are lined up for going and now, for go use also as the excuse for, 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 do the, for them part of the population control, ethnic cleansing thing down here because the youth them in the inner city unoccupied, them is of no relevance to the society because them now, you know, you can't get them to go get up and go to work every day. So in other words, you'd have to go set up like a free institution in the inner city where them can't have access to. So whether or not them go, it's not going to be anybody's problem because it go up to them in a personal level for want to develop themselves. So they make sure so they don't put no infrastructure like them there. But then put every every ghetto now is replaced with churches and now only have rum bars. Seeing rum bars and pharmacies are what is now the influencers of the inner city communities them. So now with the two Jamaicans of Africans who were enslaved and Africans who were not. The Africans who were enslaved have better leaders in the farm of Kabu them and, and, and Bird Samuels them and Muta Baruka them because they can identify which tribe they came from and which part of Africa they came from. The Jamaicans who are free, maybe them can't decide which, them don't know which part of Africa them they come from because their African ancestors came here freely. They never came enslaved. They never came in shackles. They came as free people, set up them inhabitants and were living here comfortable and free before all of the nonsense came along and everybody wanted to be the leader and owner of Jamaica ever since except for the people who they came and saw here. So if you're going to take over their place, if you come into my yard and you kick me out and want to take over my place, what do you think you have to go do? You have to go get rid of everybody in my yard because everybody in my yard are going to want to defend them yard because I feed them yard and you come and want to come take with them yard. So this is where now everyone cannot understand when Queen Africa and other people them will know the thing I say. What do you mean by two Jamaica, maroon Jamaica, and free Jamaica? Now, I have become somewhat of an enemy in the maroon community because the narrative was shaped in the maroon community that Queen Africa is trying to spread hate and divide amongst Jamaicans and saying maroon sell out Jamaicans and all of these things. So let me try to put that in a little context before we go no further again because when you speak these things on social media, you have to make sure that you can follow up and, and go back and pick up on where it said the last time. So the reason for the unity that I'm calling for is the fact that there is going to be marches here in Jamaica. There is going to be resistance here in Jamaica. There is going to be activity of people moving around. Will it be in a one united sense of all Jamaicans? All Jamaicans. Or will it be Jamaicans who are in great numbers showing them powers and parading like they are the ones who have the answers? The people who are lined up to lead Jamaican people are at this time right now more than Jamaican people. Meaning the Jamaicans who they really need to lead scatter out dead out, whore out, they pan TikTok are distracted and do all kind of foolishness. When you look over there at the real Jamaican, them over TikTok, you know, and them are the one where I go through the generational trauma and the whole heap of something where you see a play out and it just a come out and everybody I wonder, what, this is how it's going on Jamaica? Yes, that is why so much gay boys are on TikTok now and parading and they're not hiding because the algorithms are feeding them the bravery to say, come out man, nothing wrong. Just say it, everybody's gonna be okay. No. Right back to the center of the conversation. If the maroon community and the 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 the, 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 the um all the leaders of the maroon communities don't come together, accept the truth that there is two Jamaicas, the maroon Jamaica and the free Jamaica. See? If they don't come and accept that truth in front of the people, you have the little boy when name Andre Stevens calling my phone to tell me that he's ready to facilitate the meeting between me and Richard Curry. But the other day, he, he come on my phone, call me, wanted to, 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 to somewhat apologize when his, his, one of his mom died. He, he, he reached out after him, do all I'm disrespectful things around my name. He reached out, I reached out to him. I was even, I had a, a good conversation, I thought it was. And on the night after the conversation, he went on to his thing, calling me Jezebel and calling me all kind of things because the problem that they have with Queen Africa is as much as they would like me to be a part of their conversations, I will not have homosexuality be the center of any conversation about Jamaica people forward um, future movement.